Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Kauai. Originally, this week's commentary was going to be a serious one. It's about climbing mountains. But I decided to change it, and the title of this week's commentary is very personal. It's called Our 30th Anniversary. Sue and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary, and frankly, 30 years has passed like a blink of an eye. We have had our ups and downs. We have struggled. We have had the best of times. We've traveled to over 85 countries around the world. We have two wonderful children, a loving family, and guess what? I wouldn't trade places with anybody in the world. Before I get into it, I want to just interject something. I sent out a picture, which you should be seeing in a second, to all my families and friends yesterday that seem to have touched many of you. This photo is a message from God. And just like the caption said, Sue and I feel so blessed that he has taken such good care of us. I am so thankful to all of you who have sent me your personal thoughts on the photo. I am touched and humbled that it affected you as much as it affected Sue and me. If you have time, look at it again and see the power of the symbolism of what it means to you. You probably don't know this, but Sue is the inspiration for many of the Seymour's World's commentaries and shows. She comes up with the ideas, and I write them at 4 a.m. Believe it or not, I find 4 a.m. my most prolific and energetic time of the day. Sue also is the rock of our family. As you probably know, I never stop thinking. I never stop planning. I never stop doing. I come up with new business ventures, new partners, new clients, yet I have learned over the three decades that I must and always do get Sue's opinion. She is so much more grounded and stable than I am. She somehow sees through all the bull and finds the correct balance between the pros and cons. You know, I have come to the conclusion, Sue tells me this all the time, we really should let women run the world. Us guys are too conquest driven. Just look at some of the idiots that have led us to wars around the world. You know, I can't think of a one woman who has done that, right? It's us guys and our need to prove that our penises are bigger than the next guys. So, 30 years is a long time, right? No, it has gone by so fast, I can't believe it. I don't know if another woman would have stood by me all these years, but Stu, Sue has. And I want to acknowledge and thank her for being my wife, my best friend, my lover, the best mother you could ask for, and most important, the most understanding person I have ever met. I hope you have the luck that I have had over the last 30 years. I would like to end this commentary with a poem written in 2006. When years are passing by like days, and in my hand your hand is placed, a knowing smile crosses your face, a simple touch can still make my heart race. When I can see my soul in your eyes, and you see your soul in mine, we realize that a love so deep can harbor no lies, where our only tears shed were happy tears we've cried. I love you as much now as I ever did before. If possible, I may even love you more. All starting from a feeling we did not ignore, a feeling of connection we chose to explore. I don't know what it is that you saw in me, what I saw in you, was the utmost happiness that can ever be, even more so on the day when you and I became we. I can still smile and say with love and truth, my popo, I love you. Happy anniversary. Aloha from Seymour's World.